Jason Cheeseman Meyer here, and we're going to talk a little bit about the nuts and bolts instead of the big esoteric questions about making art. And the uh, mechanics that we're talking about today are about varnishing and snack foods. I mix a lot of my mediums in these little canning jars, uh, but the biggest brush you can fit into one of these is like Yay Guy, which if you're only doing like a little 16 by 20 painting, yeah, okay. But usually you want a bigger brush than this. And like one of these guys just can't fit in. So you can fix this at the grocery store. French onion dip, or better yet, the sort of king of wide mouth jars, cheese whiz. That brush fits inside a cheese whiz container. It's pretty awesome. Um, of course, if you're doing really big, that's not going to fit in anybody's jar. So what I do in that case is I get a sheet of glass and I just pour the um, varnish onto the glass and pick it up right from there. There's, I do not have a jar big enough for this big guy. Before you can varnish a painting, we gotta make sure it's clean. You need all that dust off it, cat hair that might have accumulated while it was drying. Um, you can do this with water and a paper towel, but the paper towel tears and leaves little bits of paper all over it. So I'm using a nice clean rag and instead of water, plain old rubbing alcohol. Um, now this painting is bone dry. It's been sitting here so I can be a little rough with it. Um, some people use Everclear. Uh, that's pretty expensive for a cleaning agent, and I find the rubbing alcohol works just fine. Took all the stuff off, and it'll only take a couple seconds for it to evaporate all the way. I'm gonna go through. It's much better to find the cat hair on it now than later. I'm using Gamvar gloss here. Um, I like how Gamvar works, and gloss is a good choice for the look I want. There it goes in my nice wide mouth jar. Uh, a small piece like this I would usually lie on a table because that makes it a little easier, but sometimes you don't have a table big enough for your piece. Nice and thin and even. Uh, you don't want to scrub too much, like so. You'll put bubbles into the varnish. Um, the brush strokes are going to level out a little bit as the varnish sits. Um, so you don't have to be critical of found another hair. And I'm using the brush to pick it up out of the varnish. All right, depending on the look I'm going with, I'll let that sit. And then once it's dry, come back and put a second layer, or sometimes one is does just fine. 